Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Oral Submucous Fibrosis, abbreviated as OSF. This is a concise presentation for medical students. It is a chronic, insidious, progressive, pre-malignant condition of the oral cavity characterized by juxtaepithelial inflammatory reaction and progressive fibrosis of the submucosal tissues. There is juxtaepithelial deposition of fibrous tissue in the oral cavity and pharynx. It is widely seen in Southeast Asia and India. Now let us see about the etiology of this condition. The risk factors for OSF include poor socioeconomic status, tobacco chewing, areca nuts, alcohol and nutritional deficiency like vitamin deficiency. The disease is thought to be a immune process that is it is a cell mediated immune reaction to arecolin seen in areca nuts. The disease is thought to be multifactorial. Now let us see about the pathogenesis of this condition. It is a cell mediated immune reaction to arecolin in areca nuts thus leading to collection of activated T lymphocytes and macrophages in sub-epithelial layers of oral mucosa and causing increased production of collagen and decreased degradation of collagen. What are the symptoms of this condition? Intolerance to chilies and spicy food, soreness of mouth with constant burning sensation, repeated vesicular eruption on the palate and pillars, difficulty to open the mouth fully which is called as trismus and difficulty to protrude the tongue. What are the findings in a patient with oral submucous fibrosis. The changes are seen in soft palate, fascial pillars and buccal mucosa. In the initial stages, patchy redness of mucous membrane with formation of vesicles can be seen which later on leads to superficial ulcers. In the later stages, blanching of mucosa can be seen with loss of suppleness. Fibrotic bands can also be seen. The trismus is progressive. At one point, the patient will not be able to brush his teeth or put his hand in his mouth. This is how a patient with oral submucous fibrosis presents to you. Note the ulcers and the scar bands. How do you treat a case of oral submucous fibrosis? The medical treatment includes topical injection of steroids like dexamethasone. Hyalase should also be injected for better treatment. The patient should be advised to avoid irritant factors like areca nuts, alcohol, etc. The nu underlying nutritional deficiencies like vitamin deficiency should be treated. Jaw opening exercises should be done and oral hygiene should be maintained. Now let us see about the surgical management. Surgical management is indicated in advanced cases to relieve trismus. The various surgical measures include simple release of fibrosis and skin grafting, bilateral tongue flaps, nasolabial flaps, island palatal mucoperiosteal flap, bilateral radial forearm free flap, surgical excision and buccal fat pad graft, superficial temporal fascia flap and split skin graft, coronary and temporal muscle myotomy. Thank you.